if you're getting a P24FE code, you've kind of run through everything. Yeah, do a regeneration on it. Looks like that's what's fixed this one up. Okay, I've got this thing just about prepped for a drive. About 1500 RPMs for about 15 minutes. Get it to start warming up. These uh, EGT sensors need to see about 250 degrees before these NOx sensors will wake up. I think the default was 53,535 parts per million. And now that uh, uh, we're warmed up, now they're reading about 100 parts per million. It's not uh, injecting any def in it. We'll go take this for a spin and watch this reductant injector start pulsing and we'll look at these up and downstream knock sensors see if this thing's fixed. If you've got reductant quality issues, diesel in the reductant, uh, 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 the, a catalyst that's bad, uh, one of the um, one of the NOx sensors is bad. Uh, NOx sensors are prone to failure uh, from silicone spray or sealants. You don't want any silicone around your exhaust system. And then if it's uh, the dosing injector is bad or a bad spray pattern, it could be so many things. EGR um, issues, um, exhaust leaks, so there's like a hundred things that could cause that code. But if you kind of run through everything, everything looks good, do a manual regeneration on it, and then spin it and see if that fixes your problem. So I'm going about um, just under 60. And you can see the, the Knox 1, 2, the 0. The Knox 1, 1 is on 194 parts per million. Yeah, this looks uh, like it's working perfect. Going 60 miles an hour. What you want to see here in the steady throttle is the Knox 1-2 significantly lower than the 1-1. One -one. You can see 1-1 one is about 190 parts per million. The 1-2 33 parts per million. Okay, I've got a nice steady cruise at 55 miles an hour. Knox 1 2 is at 4 to 5 parts per million. Looks great. 1 1's at 185. And you can see our reductant concentration is 32%. You can put a refractometer on there if you still have issues. Um, I did it on this one. It looks like it's working great. That's if you think you've got contaminated uh, reductant. Looks like what's fixed this is I had to do a manual regen. And then you reset the NOx sensor 1 2 adaptive. And clear your codes and then spin it and see if this is what your readings look like. So we're still going 55. Knox 1.1 one is almost 200 parts per million and Knox 1.2 is at eight. Essentially as if that Knox 1.2 starts mirroring that Knox 1.1, one, one, you got a problem, especially if it's dosing. So I'm at a stoplight. And then you can see it pulsing in there, just really short pulses. Running zero parts per million on, on the one, two sensor, and then about a hundred on the Knox one, one. Just giving it quick pulses, a lot of time in between. I'm back at the shop, now I'm gonna check my results. You're gonna look in mode six, and I'm in FDRS since this is a 21 uh, F450. So we're gonna go mode six, onboard test results and run it. And I believe, it's been a while since I've been in here, so we're gonna be catalyst efficiency. 
we need to look at is Knox catalyst conversion efficiency and that needs to pass now if it shows fail in mode 6 it may not have a check engine light or a problem yet but once it completes the readiness monitor it will fail and it will come back so you need to get in the mode 6 and this needs to pass or meet this needs to fall in this threshold the minimum maximum or else it's just going to come back so this is how you check your work in mode 6 okay I think that's going to do it for this video thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you in the next video